this particular device has featured once before I thought I'd decide to uh, connect it back up again 9000 revolutions type IB and this is in a uh, very old DC meter I just connected it up to my uh, 12 volt battery charger just in series with the output sitting here on the charger it is percolating away at the moment uh, the load is about 1.5 ampere 12 volt I'll do a de-energization and show you the visual on the meter it looks quite cool the camera will also turn the de-energize the charger energize love the air meter surging now it settles there's a horror water in here too, Kubler. Oh, this is actually landers in gear. So, yeah, this is the setup. So, I got this basically the meter connected up in series. It's only got two terminals and it charges up in a uh, 100 ampere hour accumulator, which is just a spare backup just in case the car doesn't start. I'm just going to take the cover up very uh, shortly to have a look in the inside of the device. The vintage of uh, the meter, I'm not too sure. It must be similar vintage as the AEG. It is a similar layout on the nameplate. Similar color coding right in uh, red for the decimal. Here's a quick overlook uh, on the CT. Uh, three polyphase meter, which is uh, clocked up quite a few units. Sticking away in the house. Schlumberger. Okay, the terminals are simple terminal in and then terminal out. Okay, the meter is geared obviously for 230 volts DC peerless current. Um, I run the device at uh, 12 volts. So readings need to be divided by almost 20, I would say. I'll let this sit overnight and uh, see how the readings advance. Look at the site, it's quite nice, very beautifully made as usual. For equipment from this vintage, it's got um, most likely beryllium, beryllium uh, copper leaf springs touching the armature. Yeah, it's just a full metal gear train. Just uh, engineering in the old days was just amazing. That's why I like these videos, make these videos, and share them with the world so people can see, hopefully, appreciate this type of technology which is not being made anymore. Two magnets, there's actually uh, three coils in this disc. I'm planning to make a little DC motor upon the similar principle so. There will be a video coming up of that at some stage in the future, if it's, hopefully it will, works. But yeah, there's a parallel shunt in the device. So the red meter is weighted at 5 ampere. I'll tell the disc probably only runs at say milliamperes, because uh, it's not designed to carry uh, large currents. Another very nice device from probably the 1920s. I scored this meter in far north Queensland, Australia from uh, the power company in Cairns. Probably about 10-12 uh, years ago. Ok, I'll stop the video here and we'll do a reading tomorrow. Well, today it's uh, 11 November, 11-11-15. And the meter has clocked up uh, just over three units. I'm not too sure how we're going to convert this to amp hours, but um, I don't really care. It looks good. Oh, that might be a bit too bright there. The meter is just hanging here and ticking over nicely. I just really enjoy this disc. This is quite amazing. Pretty solid. There's just a needle pin under here. video on the web shortly. Okay, one more close up on this uh, spindle here. 
this is just engineering at its finest. I'll just get my focuses. All metal. Compressed aluminium wheels, I think. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. De Energize device. Click.